Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Austin Challenge. My name is Peter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your wheels, tires, and how to apply a little bit of protection on the wheels. All that I'm going to show you in Kupla Easy Steps. When it comes to cleaning wheels, job overall is straightforward and simple. However, you need to have proper equipment and proper products for it. So it all depends whether you clean your own car, you keep it right, you provide regular maintenance or whether you provide services, uh, then you need different sort of setup for it. So in the case of this car, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use uh, the safest brushes I have. That's because the wheels are not in too bad condition. Uh, also, they have glossy black finish. If your wheels are in perfect condition and if you want to keep them like that, you need to look at very soft brushes. So when it comes to very delicate brushes, we have Kupla them here, a microfiber brush like this. Uh, another one is wool brush. And we have another one uh, for smaller places, brush like this. Another very nice solution for cleaning wheels uh, is a wash meat for wheels so it's, you have tiny wash meat that you can uh, gather around the spokes and do the job safely and effectively. When it comes to wheels that they're not clean regularly what you need to look at is a uh, little bit stiffer brushes so for example ones like this uh, so it will do the job nicely then we have another option which is stiffer again uh, we have small brush like this uh, due to short bristle ideal for small spaces and the last one for those heavy tasks, if we deal with wheels that they're very bad, we have something like this. When it comes to cleaning the faces of the wheels, what we use is we use detailed brushes. Uh, with them, you can get around and properly clean the under nooks and crannies. However, time comes where you get vehicle that hasn't been cleaned for months or years with heavy brake dust. So then we use something like this. And this, in most cases, does the job for very bad wheels. And another brushes we have here uh, are tire brushes, so you can have one like this or for example one like this. For low profile tires this is perfect solution. So with selection of brushes we can perform nearly any task. Uh, now we need to look at the products. So what you have on the wheel is obviously you have the road film, dirt, sand, uh, but also you will have tar and brake dust. For tar we use Vasco pre-wash. Uh, this product is contactless tar remover. Uh, four wheels, it's perfect solution. Uh, as in some places, it's very hard to get with uh, with a cloth if you're using solvent tire removers. So this product uh, is extremely good solution for that. Uh, what we do, we spray the product on the wheels, uh, on dirty wheels, then leave it on for hour, two hours. We usually leave this product overnight. Come in the morning, rinse it off. The product does the job. The next product we need is wheel cleaner. Uh, market is full of products and. Uh, I imagine it's very hard to pick one if you have no experience when it comes to cleaning the wheels. Uh, what we use is, uh, we use obviously fallout removers uh, as well as we use alkaline wheel cleaners and for some applications we use also acidic wheel cleaners. If your wheels are in very good condition and you clean them regularly, uh, also you have option there. Uh, there are gentle wheel cleaners like this one. This one is tire and wheel cleaner. It's not a product for cleaning heavy dirt. Uh, but for regular maintenance, it's perfect. It's safe for any finishes. How to pick the right one? Uh, first of all, what I'd be looking at is uh, what sort of wheel I'm dealing with. In this case, we have diamond cut wheel. Uh, then you also have painted wheels, uh, powder coated wheels, and you might have also wheels with delicate finish. For example, chrome wheels or polished aluminum, naked aluminum sort of finish. Uh, these two surfaces are definitely delicate ones, so for this I'll be using fallout removers. When it comes to diamond code wheels, uh, what we have here, uh, there's lots of misleading information about those wheels. Uh, I'm sure nearly everyone's seen those wheels that they get damaged, and some people blame acidic products or even alkaline products. Uh, however, the real issue is a little bit different. If you look at diamond good wheels, uh, what we have most of cases is inside of the wheel is painted, 
So that surface has a very good chemical resistance. Uh, also the front of the wheel, uh, the face of it, it has aluminum finish. However, this finish is covered with protective coating. So this coating is like a clear coat and is there to protect the aluminum finish from chemicals. The reason why the protective coating on diamond coat wheels fails is because people wash cars while the wheels are hot. When you're driving, obviously there will be temperature build up on the wheels from braking. So if you wash your car and you apply strong detergent on the hot wheels, then the reaction will appear. Of course, one wash like that is not going to damage the wheels. However, if you keep going that routine, uh, the damage will be getting bigger. And when you start to notice it, it's going to be too late. So overall, that comes to any wheels, whether they're diamond coat or painted, powder coated, delicate wheels. You never should wash your wheels while they're hot. So after driving, if you need to wash your car, uh, cool it down first with water, then start to apply chemicals. For cleaning these wheels, I'm going to use four different products. Uh, tar remover, Vasco pre-wash, second one, Swag Alkaline Wheel Cleaner. This product is uh, concentrated, so I have it diluted one to 10. Uh, next product will be uh, fallout remover uh, ADBL vampire liquid. Uh, initial clean I will get with the alkaline product, then the final touch I will get with uh, fallout remover. So that should give us perfect cleaning. And the last product I will use will be ADBL tire and rubber cleaner. Basically when you clean the wheels, uh, brush is one thing, but the proper product is another thing. The dirtier the wheels, the more aggressive product you need. Uh, if you have to use acidic wheel cleaner, then what I would say is after using acidic wheel cleaner, make sure you neutralize the surface by using a pH neutral or alkaline product. So the Vasco pre-wash is on this wheel for at least two, two and a half hour. Uh, now I'm going to give it really good rinse. Uh, so that will remove tar and it should remove any loose door that is on the wheel. So now I'm going to spray this product, uh, diluted 1 to 10 alkali wheel cleaner from Swag. And now we can start to agitate the inside of the wheel. Uh, I'm going to use this brush for that because the other brushes are a little bit too big. So I left the alkaline wheel cleaner to work for a few minutes. Uh, agitated inside the barrel because that's usually the worst part of the wheel. Uh, now I'm going to rinse it off, uh, spray fallout remover, uh, also tar, uh, tire cleaner and agitate everything and then rinse it off. When you clean the wheels, it's always a good idea to do the job, then move the car to check the places that you couldn't see before. In this case, the job went nice and smooth because wheels weren't too dirty. If your wheels are very bad, you will have to put more effort, uh, select products differently and just have different approach. So the last thing I'm going to do with those wheels is apply a little bit of protection on them. In this case, I'm going to use product called Rimtector from ADBL. Uh, this product, what it is, it's sort of quick detailer, four wheels. Uh, the way you use it is uh, you clean the wheels first uh, while the wheels are still wet, you spray the product and then rinse it off. So in this case, the wheels have no protection whatsoever.
So in the case of this product, it's a super easy way of protecting the wheels. Uh, product lasts two, three weeks. So if you wash your car regularly and you want to have ease of maintenance, uh, use this product. It will be very easy to wash the wheels. The last thing we can do with these wheels is uh, apply some tire dressing when the wheels are dry and then we have nice clean looking wheels. Overall, there is more things you can do with your wheels. Uh, if you want to improve the look of them, uh, you can give them good clean uh, clay bar them. You can polish the wheels so you will improve the look same as the paint. Uh, when it comes to protection, you have other products as well like wheel waxes. You have ceramic coating. Ceramic coating would be obviously the, the best, the most durable protection for your wheels. So this is everything in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, overall, I would like to thank uh, all my subscribers for subscriptions. Uh, my channel is growing nicely, so that gets me more and more motivated to do more videos. Of course, if you have any questions, comment below. If you like to see other detailing videos, comment below. Tell me what you want to see. I'll try to do my best to do these videos. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe it and see you on the next one.